Good evening. Happy Friday. Um, figured I, I had done an NBA playoffs uh, preview. I hadn't checked in ever since. It uh, was eventful. You know, um, Eastern Conference, you know, I, I, I'll lay claim to, to, to saying, you know, the Celtics were going to be very good. Better than I thought. What really surprised me was that it was the and I even called them the Heatles back from when LeBron James was there. But the Heat, the Heat's really brought it. Now they're up 2-0 in the in East Conference Finals. That doesn't mean it's over, but um, Celtics could still get it done. But this is this is good to see some new blood to to a certain degree. Giannis will get some more pieces around him, or he'll go chase the ring elsewhere. Nick Nurse, no matter what happens, is gonna is gonna turn things around and you know and reload in Toronto. East is going to rise, but the talent's really out in the West. Especially, you know, the isolation ball that they play. Um, I have no idea who's going to come back in, in, in Houston. That was a foregone conclusion that um, D'Antoni was going to go, you know, up to the sunset and bake pizzas or something. Um, guy can't coach D for whale dung. Yeah, you heard it here. Whale dung. Um, thought it was going to be chalk in the West. And then the Clip, Clip City got taken out. First time ever with the, with the Nuggets. First time ever, you know, two times in the same postseason to come back from 3-1. Um, as a coach, that tells me there's a killer instinct missing. And at the NBA level, there's people going <clears> to... <throat> They're going to blame Doc Rivers? No. These are paid grown men. This is college? I'm with you. But you got you got guys on that club that don't know how to win. You brought one guy in that does. It's been to the promised land. And he had just done it last year. So, you got to learn. Winning, you have to learn how to do. You got to learn how to do it. And, and they haven't learned. They choked. Now, not taking anything away from the Nuggets. Nikola Jokic is... He's straight scary. That dude can play. Jamal Murray gets on gets on a roll. That's a really rough team to play. Will they get through the Lake Show? Probably not. They're probably exhausted. And and now they're not they're not sneaking up on anybody. And the Lakers are full. Of you know, the Lakers do have a team that have people. Whether it's the Green Goblin, Rondo, or um, LeBron himself, there's there's experience on that team. And they also have a very quiet, steadying influence as a coach. It's done, it's done a nice job. So I think Lake Show takes it. And at this point, let's say it's Lakers Heat. That might be a draw. He's playing well. And I'm not sure the Lakers can guard um, out on the perimeter well enough to defeat the Celtics either. So they might come up short this year. But LeBron has been counted out before. You don't bet against that dude. So it's been a surprisingly and um, refreshingly interesting postseason. Not even just the fact that they're in a bubble. And, I mean, I like bubble rap. I like to pop those little things, especially when it annoys people. Oh, yeah. I love that stuff. But I don't need no stinking bubbles. I'm looking forward to things getting back to the, back to the way that they're supposed to be. But um, very interesting. I see that... Um, you know, MVP went to went to um, Giannis. I guess they got that one right. They pretty much, I think they pretty much got the most of these teams together. Bradley Beal is probably the one mistake not being on the first team. I mean, he, he had some pretty good stats. However, I, I think what the what they were saying when they voted against him on being first team is, you know, maybe he was he had a lot of garbage time points. So he was filling the sheet when I mean, there's nobody there. Put John Wall back on that team for a full season. 
and Bradley Beal probably scores six, seven, eight points less a game. So, upon reflection, instant, you know, instant reflection, yeah, they probably get it right. They typically do. Um, next year, I think I think the Heat and the Celtics could be good again. Toronto will be good again. Nick Nurse is a great coach. Um, don't judge a book by its cover. He looks like a librarian, right? But no, he's he, he's a good coach. So they're gonna they're gonna run it back, and then the West. You, you probably got the clip Clip City coming back as long as they don't do anything stupid. Maybe they add another piece. They need some some championship caliber pieces that have been there before. And and what it do, dude, is not good enough. Um, he's not a vocal leader. I think you need you need somebody that's been there a couple of times and had some adversity. You do. So maybe he's enough next year. Who knows? I, I wouldn't I wouldn't roll the dice with that. Lake Show will be good. Denver is gonna be good again. They are gonna be good. They got a nice young nucleus. And Jokic is ridiculously good. So next year looks good. You know, and um, we'll see how, how this ends up. But um, just wanted to check in and and and, and kinda kinda do my post mortem on the fact that I, I, I win some and I lose some just like everybody else. The good thing is I didn't put a single plug nickel down on anybody, so I'm feeling mighty fine. <laughs> so a lot of people lost a lot of money. Um especially on the Clippers. Anyway. Be back uh, try to be a little bit more regular. You know, I took four or five days there. Um Try to be a little more regular and, um, you know, try to try to get into a few more sports. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and take a look at, at baseball. I'm going to try and take a look at some at football over, the, over you know, during the day tomorrow. I'll look at um, the week upcoming. And you notice I didn't do it before the Thursday night game because it was, um, it was the Bungles and the Brownies and the Brownie Scouts. Bungles and the Brownie Scouts. Yeah, I, I like that, actually. Um, and they looked really competitive because they both suck. Yeah, they do. Um, that's why it was such a, a deceptively good game because they're evenly matched in the degree to which they suck. But both teams have a pretty good shot at, at, at being good in the future. And, you know, all that has to happen is Baker and Mayfield has to leave the one team. And Burrow just has to get his has to get some talent around him. Tail two cities right there, man. So the Battle of Ohio was a snore fest as far as I was concerned. So I wasn't even gonna I wasn't even gonna hurry up and, and talk talk week two on their record. <laughs> I think not. I had more important things to do. So um, I'll talk a little bit about the rest of the uh, rest of week two, including what I think is going to be a fantastic Monday night matchup. Um, with the Fighting Chuckies uh, opening up Allegiant Stadium out in Vegas um, against against Drew Brees and the giant uh, and the um, New Orleans Saints. So I think um, I think that's going to be a nice matchup. But there's some good matchups this coming week, this coming week, and um, just starting to get the juices flowing again. It's been pretty hard to do so. So, all right. Um, I said it's at the end of every one of these. You know, I put it in the can, and I hope somebody finds it. It's like a message in a bottle. But um, whenever you find it, if you can just like, subscribe, share, because sharing is caring. I've said that before. Um, you know comment a little bit I, I, I really I really relish the opportunity to have discussion I called it musings of a middle aged coach because it wasn't just going to be about coaching it wasn't just going to be demonstration stuff I want to talk about sports musings is just you know, it's got a little panache to it but just I just need to 
sense of, have a sense of community of some sort. Born out of this tragedy of a year that 2020 has become. And um, I appreciate this medium. I'm going to stick with it even, even when um, the Rony Rona goes away. Um, wasn't much of a beer drinker before this, by the way. But I hate, I hate to tell that, that, that I hate to tell them that um, Corona's no. I can never look at a Corona again. So um, it's just the way it is. So like I said, like, subscribe, um, share, comment, and um, just be good to each other out there. And empathy's got to make a comeback pretty big, pretty dang on soon. How about today? All right. So be good to everybody around you. And um, I'll be hollering back at you soon. Peace out, me homies. Say that.